I'm going to demonstrate using the Life Ionizer today. This is called the Life Next Generation M7 Ionizer. And I'm going to just start by turning it on. And let's. Uh, Alright, so once you get the water flowing, you need to push this on off button. Third grade of alkali water is being extracted All right. now. So now it's been set on third, third level three, but I'm gonna put it on level one just to start with. And I'm gonna collect some water from each level. And so this is level one. And then second grade of alkali water is being extracted now. Okay. So now we'll do level two. Now. All right, and now I'm just going to get the strongest Third one. Of alkaline water is being extracted now. Now you wouldn't drink at the highest level, but just to see how strong it does come out. I'm going to also get some acidic water, I think same time so that we can test what that is as well. Okay, so now let's take a look. Um, right now I've got my pH probe uh, in the um, uh, just tap water and you can see it's a 7.3 pH for the tap water. Now let's take a look at what happens when I put the probe in to the level one. It has gone up to like an 8 pH, 8 point, let me just stir it a little bit. Eight point seven pH. Now level two gone up to like nine point one pH. Nine point two, excuse me. This is level three now. It's like a nine point seven pH. Nine point eight or nine point nine, excuse me. Alright, now this is the strongest one, level four. And it looks just the same as level three. So, hmm, interesting. All right, now let me just put it into the acidic water. See what happens. Now I'll just let that sit in the acidic water for a little bit because this pH meter doesn't necessarily uh, adjust very quickly. All right, now um, I'm going to try to angle this to see the glasses a little bit better. All right, now I'm going to go through and just show you the ORP, which is your antioxidants. That's level one. And it looks very lightly ionizing. And, and that's typical of level one though. Level one would be a light ionization. Like about a negative, maybe it's going to even hit negative 200, which would be pretty good for level one. I'll say it's about a negative 180, which is pretty good for level 1. There we go. Alright, so now level 2.
like a negative 225-ish or still going up but very slowly I'll call you know it's going to be like two th negative 230 there <laughs> all right now level three and each one is getting progressively better for the antioxidants although really this is not too good for level three I don't particularly believe this it's still in the negative 200s I, I would expect it to be up in the negative four five or six hundreds so okay so negative 230 very similar to the other one let me let me see what the level four sh comes out at also on the low side Okay, so actually a little bit lower. Level four wasn't wasn't particularly better than level three, so I suppose the ORP is very similar. Um, okay, let me just take a look at my ORP meter. See if I need to clean it because those readings don't particularly look good to me. See if that improves anything. All right, so we're back to level one. Yep, it looks better. Wow, like up around negative 300-ish, which is great for level one. All right, let's take a look and see if level two is better. Okay. Like about a negative 355. All right, yeah, that's that's actually pretty good for level two. Let's take a look at level three. Yeah, it looks like it's going to go up to about a negative 400. I like to have level three at least negative 400, if not higher, like negative 600 or negative 700. So it looks like this is going to go up to about a negative 400 if I let it sit long enough. But I'll just call it at negative 375. <laughs> and then level 4. Level 3 and level 4 were about equal. So actually level 4 is a little weaker, I think, than level 3 on this particular ionizer. All right, well, let's take a look at the acidic water. This has been sitting in the acidic water now for a while, and it's reading at a 6.5. Now, that's at the strongest acidic, so I don't particularly think that's too good. I think that you probably could slow down the flow rate and get a better acidic water, but I'm not going to um, test that right now. Um, I think that's all for this test and so thank you very much.